Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the kingdom, or rather almost the empire of Chicagoland. And welcome back to your boy, Gobin the Lionheart, of course, Gobin Blues. And yes, we are jumping right into a very important event. Uh, Mr. Pope Man here, Pope Redeemed the Seventh, a Riverlander, whatever that means, um, has declared a crusade for Chicago. And we know from uh, the lore we read here, I think. Well, maybe not here. But we know that there was a council at Chicago. So this is a holy site for the... Very important holy site, in fact, for the Catholic faith. So that's probably why the Pope uh, is trying to reclaim it. But we're not going to let him, of course. Uh, are we already being joined by people? I believe so, right? Quite a few, maybe. Yeah, quite a few. We have uh, the Tycoon of Alleginia, who we, who we know quite well. Port St. Johnny, of course, and then we have a bunch of uh, bunch of dukes. I think um, uh, the 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 uh, the ratio of, of of soldiers is actually pretty pretty okay for us. So I think we we stand a chance. The King of Iowa is joining him. I think he's probably the most powerful of the people joining us, but he doesn't really have that many troops anyway. And the Pope himself also has ten thousand troops. I don't know where they came from. Oh, hired. Yeah, right. Okay, he hired a couple of holy orders, I guess. Did we hire uh, our both our holy orders? Yes. Okay, great. So we have about 20,000 troops raised here in Chicagoland. Uh, <clears throat> that should uh, hold off the Catholic hordes for a while. So let's let's see. Those Christian heathens! Where are you going, Mr. Pope, man? Ah, here he is. Okay. Let's move uh, down. Down the Mississippi. Towards St. Louis. If we, if we can sort of uh, besiege St. Louis, it will probably be, uh, uh, be some easy war score quickly. <coughs> and uh, if we can... Uh, take down the Pope as soon as, uh, as possible, because he's uh, probably the most powerful guy fighting the Crusade. And right now we are we are uh, outnumbering him quite a bit, but... Uh, no, I just need to select another counselor to replace him, okay? Let's do that. Ralph of Indianapolis, sure. Um, search for artifact. <coughs> We've been looking for that artifact for such a long time, man. Oh, sorry, there was a big spike <laughs> in, the <laughs> in the sound profile. I hope you guys are not deaf. Um, let's hire a... A guy. Expel the ironworkers. Uh, summon large commander, yeah. 300 renown. That's a commander, though. Not really a marshal. Terminator. 30% morale damage. Oh, we should have... Ah, damn it. That was not smart. We should have uh, We should have taken that, tra that trade, that commander trade. Oh, well. Uh, we will make this guy a commander. That's not really my plan, but uh, we can do it. I mean, couldn't hurt. Uh, obviously, here he's got some trades. This guy. Oh, here you go. Papa. Let's put Papa in... Uh, oh, I, I will put myself in charge, but we can put Papa on the right flank. And we will put... Uh, this guy's a direct leader. I guess we can put uh, Arthur Jordan on the left flank. Yeah. Because he, uh, he, if, if you put the direct leader on the left flank, he will probably get uh, Malices. But then we still need a new marshal. Let's just look for somebody. Uh, this guy, Rustman. Emilio Kinslayer, I don't care about that. Minister of Defense. Okay. Come over here, my man. We will move south, though. We will move to St. Louis. I've been to St. Louis. Did I tell you guys that? I feel like I, every episode I say, Oh, I've been here, I've been here, I've been here. I've been to quite a few places in, uh, in the US by now. I mean, not all over the country or anything. But uh, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen some stuff. Usually not for very long. On most of these places, I've only been for like a day. Oh yeah, we are waiting for him to cover it. Sure, we can wait for that. What are you doing, Mr. Pope, man? Steady progress. Okay, man. How many more times are we gonna make steady progress in this artifact, man? I submit to our council. Great. In that case, you can be my marshal, Edward. Edward Teller. Please train some troops in Chicago. We will need every man we can get to help us out in this war. And we will quickly move on the Pope here. Because uh, this is, uh, he doesn't. If he gets joined by too many of his allies, we will have a big problem, because he will start to outnumber us. Here we go. Okay, this is an important battle. He didn't put any commanders on his right flank. The idiot. This man has no commanding traits, so we gotta defeat him pretty quickly, probably. And this man, Vic, also has no commander traits, and uh, uh, with the exception of the Crusader trait. Okay, then in that case, that this should be easy. Yeah, we are defeating all of his flanks, and he is barely putting a dent in ours, so that's helpful. 
A son was born to Tycoon Goban and Queen Katarina. Oh, a son. This is, oh, genius. Nice. You have a genius son. Okay, we have, we have to make him... We have to make him the heir, I guess. Oh, we're gonna call him. Uh, randomized name. Baby. <laughs> Baby Blues. <laughs> That's a good name. Adolphus. Daily. Matey. Leroy. Leroy Blues. Nathan. Jay. Buddy Guy. Buddy Guy Blues. I like that. Buddy Guy is another blues artist. He's, uh, he's a bit more modern than the other guys, I think. Than the... Uh ah, we kept somebody. Burton. Burton, my man. You will be sacrificed. Bentley, you also this is a crusade, man. This is a total war. You will do what uh, w what needs to be done. Um, that being said, I think we should probably move up to Daily Plaza soon. But I think we're gonna we're gonna fight one more round versus the Pope's uh, main army. I think that's probably a good idea. We could try to uh, besiege Saint Louis and capture the Pope, and then well, we should be quick about it because it is they are besieging Daily Plaza. Need two more days. Let's attack. Mini Yeetman. After the dungeons. This guy is here, right? Yeah, he's hiding in St. Louis, St. Louis. Okay, we, we we should try to capture this man. That would end the crusade immediately. I think it's worth it to risk uh, Daily Plaza being besieged. 49%. No, I don't I don't think we, we, we can capture him. Okay, well, whatever. We, at least we, we grabbed a ton of war score. Let's move back up to Chicago quickly because <laughs> it's already at uh, 44 percent. Uh, no, we know uh, we, we will ransom you. We'll just make sure that our cash flow stays positive in this crusade. We're already at 73 percent, man. This is going very fast. But uh, probably people will count to see uh, uh, St. Louis now, and I hope they won't capture any of my sons in Daily Plaza. That, that would suck. Oh yeah, he's, he's gone. Okay, great. That was pretty close, actually. <coughs> but we won. Uh, there's a big army here. Let's wait for them to move to the plains. Yep, he's locked. Okay, let's intercept him. He will suffer from a river crossing penalty, but I think we should be fine anyway. Yep, captured another person. We will ransom you off. Uh, this man we can, uh, we can sacrifice. This person we can sacrifice. This is another landed character, so we will ransom him. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it, it's going actually quite fast. Yeah, I think the, the the advantage we have is that the papacy is right here, so we can just walk down and, uh, and grab some land there. <coughs> and because uh, I think probably that is counting for a lot now. Yeah, that's counting for like half, no more. Most of the of the war score we have right now. We uh, if we if we can prevent them from capturing anything, uh, then. Uh, the ticking war score is going to count our way. Touch is Pamela of Driftless, another bit of money. I think so far we are making a profit on this crusade, actually. Which is good. 900 gold. That means we can hire some mercs uh, if we need to. Ah, there you are, pitching for a fight. Finally, we have another battlefield duel. You don't need to jump in, man. I, I, I need the experience. Oh, we kept it another, <laughs> another, another guy. Oh, he doesn't have the money. Ah, then we'll keep him in, in prison, I guess. This man. Yep, you have the money. I think probably the, the other guy we probably ransomed already. Another duke with a ton of money. Thank you. <laughs> this man is a suitable sacrifice. This man has a ton of money. So we ransom him. Damn. <laughs> that was a profitable battle. Um, oh, hey, we have, uh, we have uh, some of our friends are uh, moving on the papacy as well. That's great. That's fantastic. I think we are. We're, get, we're getting ticking war score already. No, 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 not yet. Okay. I shouldn't forget to drink my coffee, by the way, because uh, it tends to get cold. <sighs> nice. Those of you who have been watching my channel for a long, for a long time, they know uh, that I used to uh, talk a lot about how great my coffee was, because I bought a new batch from a uh, little. Uh, Little town on a, on an island north of uh, of, of the Netherlands uh, on Ameland, uh, and it was great, fantastic. But it's now it was two two kilograms, four pounds of coffee, and it's now uh, it's now gone. So I, I bought a new batch uh, last le last uh, last week or so from a local coffee shop here in uh, in, uh, in, in the town that I live in, uh, and it's, it's it's still great. It's still great. 
I loved uh, loved the stuff that I got from that little island. Well, it, it, uh, so they they they, they burned it. it, it uh, what's the English word? Coffee branderij, a place where they roast the coffee, coffee roasting place. But the coffee itself was from uh, the Congo, from Africa, and um, it was great. And I bought uh, I bought two kilos of it for a lot of money, <laughs> but it was worth it because I drink a lot of coffee and. Uh, whenever you uh, drink drink a cup of that stuff, you you, you are happy, man. It's, it's it's fantastic stuff. So it, it's worth the money, if you ask me. You know, it, it raises the price of your morning coffee from what twenty cents to forty cents or whatever. So still uh, still quite cheap. And we're already one, man. That uh, that, that went a lot quicker than I thought. I guess I, I think it probably helped that we uh, we get at the army in advance in Chicago because we could move on the Pope very quickly. We could defeat his main army. I think uh, yeah, there was there was there were, there were quite a few troops here at the end of the war, like nine thousand or so altogether. So if they had been able to 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 gather in one big army, they uh, we might have struggled with it. But uh, they didn't. The idiots. Ooh, more money and plus ten more authority. That is awesome. Okay, great. Enforce demands. What do you think about that, Mr. Pope man? Ha! <laughs> Screw you. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> we have so much money. <laughs> this was a profitable endeavor. You guys can do that more often if you like. Alright. Um, we have so much money. I might build a uh, great work. Can we? Yeah, we can. Build a great work in this province. Grand Fortress, Great Walls, Great Harbor, Great Lighthouse, Magnificent Garden, Great Mausoleum. Grand University, why can we not do this? Oh, we need uh, tolerance level 3. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. You just press one button. Why can we not build this? Improved keeps is equal to 4. Okay, that's, that's not that's not the press of a button, I think. Now we have to wait for a while if we want to do that. Could do that, I guess. We could do that. A grand fortress. Would make sense, I guess. We will just uh, surround Daily Plaza with uh, mighty walls. Uh, we could do great walls around Chicago, I guess. That's possible. Great lighthouse. That's also quite nice. Royal Palace. Magnificent Garden. Magnificent Garden I've always liked. It's quite cheap. But it actually has some very, very good uh, bonuses. Like uh, bonuses to health and stuff. And uh, intrigue. And st stuff like that. It's, it, it's, it's pretty great, actually. Grand University. That's also quite cool. But it takes a long time to build. So you don't really... And the benefits are not really worth it. It's like plus 0 0.05 or plus 0 0.1 in a certain technology. It's not really that big. Grand Mausoleum? No. Mm, okay, I, 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 I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm doubting between the Grand Fortress and the uh, the Great Harbor. No, the, uh, the Great the Garden. But now that I've mentioned the harbor, I'm also uh, yeah. I, th I, th I think the harbor is more useful if you are uh, a, a, a merchant republic. It gives me a ton of trade value, but I cannot really do anything with that, right? Or, or can I? I do have a trade post. Speaking of which, should forget to build a trade post in this land. We uh, we defeated uh, the Republic of Detroit uh, one or two episodes ago, uh, and we should we should take advantage of that by by building a trade post. So we look uh, luckily we we managed to do that. Um. So we do have the hub of Fort. Mm. I think I will go with the Grand Fortress, I think. Where's that? Nah. Hidden passageways. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the garden. I talked about it, I was like, ah, yeah, that, uh, so Millennium Park, let's, uh, let, let, let's, let's role play it from Millennium Park, right? We'll convert it to a nice, a nice big garden for our uh, our realm. Or is that very far away from uh, Daily Plaza? We will just we will just demolish the buildings in between. In between. I've seen Queen Katerina of Chicago land on my wife during a couple of gatherings with the Riveters, and I cannot help but notice how the staunch woman appears needlessly jumpy, flinching at jokes, turning down sparring matches. She needs guidance. I find myself muttering, as warrior, she needs me. Yeah, of course, of course, we're gonna help our wife. We uh, we need to duel this guy. Let's do it. Oh, we cannot do it? Why not? Do it if I'm not involved in the war. Now this guy is at war. I think it's a bit of a stupid 
rule. Now we have to wait for that guy. Uh, Queen Katarina agreed that she needs my help. In order to make her see, her see things differently, we have to spend a few nights camping in the woods. Judging by the nervous laughter my proposal is met with, I suspect he is aware of the many dangers in wilderness holes. It's nothing for cowards, I conclude. I'll bring my fire striker. 240 gold. Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. Uh, you make a show. Of, I, I, uh, I will simply be myself. I'm not going to spend 200 gold on it. Come on. We need that money for our magnificent garden. My wife and I are back from our camping trip. Any traces of her initial reluctance are gone, and I'm proud to be able to compliment her on how well she handled the experience. Thank you for this opportunity, Goban, she says, more heartfelt than expected. She had this bravery all along. We become close friends. Ah, that's nice. We're not in love yet, but we did become friends. 100, uh, 100 personal opinion. Okay, that, that's great. That's great. She already loved me because we gave her the... Yeah, we, last episode we gave her the Duchy of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, let's let's rename this thing to uh, Millennium Park, right? Is, is that what it's called? Ah, I will look it up maybe uh, later. There we go. Or the pier, Chicago Pier, that's the thing. Could have done that as well, I guess. We could have built a harbor there. Could have roleplayed that it was the harbor. Oh well. Uh, I think it's fine like this. Do we need to increase some of the castle towns in our in our realm? Castle fortification. I think it's, it's good to upgrade the fortifications in Daily Plaza a little bit because uh, we noticed during the crusade that they uh, they seized it down pretty quickly. Uh, what about the trading post? Is that finished? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Well, a lot easier than I expected. We didn't lose that many troops, so I think we can go back immediately to war. We could grab the papacy, I guess. Or we could grab some of that Catholic uh, Catholic land up here. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, we need we need here we need the duchy here. We need the duchy of Cooley. So I think we will we will grab that one. Because this guy is anyway in a big war. Yeah, declare war, holy war for Cooley. Here we go. Let's raise our troops. Everybody march to Chicago. We will raise the Teamsters. <coughs> That will give, him, give us an army that's, that's twice his size, I think. The neo Battenburg faith triumphant. Alright, I don't care. They're Christians. It's an Anabaptist heresy, I think. I inherited the Oligarchate of Saginaw and other titles from my uncle. Okay. Uh, we should give that out, I guess. Saginaw up here. Uh, okay, there's just two people here, but I prefer to give it to a family member. Or maybe not. I guess most of my... Oh, we can give it to our, our, our aunts as well, right? Or my sister, Gabriella Blues. Can give it to her. Sure. Uh, you can have the Enterprise of Saginaw and the Oligarchate of Saginaw. There you go. Gabriella Blues. We have quite a few. Uh, we can check it out, actually. Uh, if you go like this. Yeah, so there's family members of ours here, here. This whole area, here. So, like, half the country is ruled by blueses. And also, uh, this area is, of course, uh, ruled by our wife. So that is also a close in the family. So it should be quite stable. Uh, unless we die and everybody gets a claim on it. Oh, no factions at all, eh? Great. Probably because of the crusade that we won. I think that gives you... Uh, an opinion, uh, p opinion bonus. Castle fortifications have been built. Yeah, let's continue upgrading Daily Plaza a bit. Upgrade the fort level a bit. That's worth it. Uh, because people will be attacking it often. And it's quite well connected by boat, so I think we should be able to uh, to go there fairly quickly, but uh, still. Oh, here's a, here's a little army. Oh, it's a raiding army. I mean, we, we're here, right? We might as well intercept it. Where you going, my man? I'll take that blade and sink you to Thor with it. That's a heavy blade to the treasury. All right. I'm not here for the discarded junk of my enemy. I don't know. We can we can use the blade. Is that worth anything? Uh, heavy snow blade, quality one. Personal combat skill plus ten. That's better than my lens, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than my lens. Although I guess it's 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 not it's the plus one martial bonus is is lost. Now let's keep the lens. It's fine. I do wonder when this uh, this art this extraordinarily rare artifact will arrive because they've my my counselors have been working on that for so so long. 
I never really know how long it takes. I, I think it's been at least a decade. No, oh, he's making steady progress still. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Uh, the castle can have a bit of extra opinion. That's fine. Let's move down here. Is this guy a tribal? No, right? Where is he? Are you tribal? No. Oh, it's winter. Let's charge. Captured a bunch of women. And then we captured the next one. Okay, where, where's his army though? I saw his army down here somewhere. Or maybe he will show up later. The county of Green Bay has been converted to the Rust Cultist Faith. Nice. Um, a noble has distinguished, distinguished himself in battle. Perhaps I can make use of him. No, not really. He's pretty terrible. A new realm. I don't care. We will, we, will, we will take a look at the rest of the world once this war is finished. Captured even more women. Can we take concubines, by the way? Is that in our religion? No, I don't think so. Uh, we have obviously so many people. <laughs> if we wanted to grab a blood bloodline, we could just execute all of them. <laughs> We're not going to do it. Ah, uh, we can release all of them. Execute, release, same difference. <laughs> uh, yep, let's move down here. We're making quick progress. Don't know where his army is. You might want to have a look at that. Um, where's your army, my man? Where, where are you leading an army in where? Thompson. Down there, okay, we can uh, we can move down there. That is fine. We will, I will deal with you there. Do up uh, that uh, we also gain this county. The Autumn of Chippewa. Probably not. Probably not, that's annoying. Is this his army? No, this is a different, uh, different guy. But he is moving up here. So let's uh, let's just intercept him. Unless he's uh, he's attacking this guy, then he's more than more than welcome to. <laughs> oh, he's going somewhere else. Okay. Uh, then we will move. <coughs> we will move down south. Down south to the yeah, here he is. Chase him. Chase him down. We're losing quite a few people to attrition, but eh. Should be fine, right? Oh, he's counter switching our stuff. Stop doing that. This is his capital, I guess. Uh, where are you going? You're going to... Cedar. Mm, we might as well charge this, right? Yeah, since we're here. Um, let's go to Cedar then, huh? We'll chase you down. Like the dogs you are. No, he's linking up with his army. He's, he's showing some tactics, I guess, even. Defeat, all right? Shouldn't get too cocky. Uh, Chicago Prosperous, nice. I think maybe we will win, probably, but uh, should get too cocky. There we go. All right, let's move down here to Galena. And then ideally, I want to declare war on this guy and counter siege all this stuff. I think we will do that soon. So we will defeat this guy. Yep, sacrifice, sacrifice. Uh, where are you going? Scott. We'll chase you down and scat. Uh, conciliary, conciliary Ralph is making steady progress. 76%. Uh, there you are, I've itch itching for a fight, Veronica. Basko, Mivi Basko Mivna. Gucheski. Let's fight. I take it I win it. We need to fight that, uh, that one guy as well for the society. Oh, damn it. We lost the, uh, the county to the other guy. That sucks. Oh well. Then we need to uh, fight another war against this guy. That's annoying. Oh well. What can you do, eh? <coughs> Gives us another goal, I guess. Another war goal. I think we kept recaptured all the women we already captured earlier. 83%. Okay. Uh, we're almost there. Let's move on his capital. Why not? <coughs> I don't know why I'm uh, I'm coughing so much. I don't have uh, hay fever or anything. I don't think. My wife is pregnant. Great. Religious storyteller. All right. Alrighty. You do you, wifey. It's good to have a hobby outside of your your spouse, right? It's good to have a life outside of your relationship. Um, let's attack the county of Des Moines. Captured a bunch of people again. 
Uh, oh, that was it. Okay, that's why we uh, we still had more to capture. In that case, we will move down here, right? Let's chase him down. Oh, five thousand troops, really? Oh, okay. I think that was his enemy. Murdered by his enemies. Poisoned by our enemies. How fortuitous! Being always so distracted might have prevented my wife from taking a good rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. I don't care what you do, wifey. You can do what you want. Uh, Tycoon Goban and Oligarch Elwood become close friends. Nice. Oceans agree with all matters that are the most uh, uh, most important. Okay. Nice. That's good, because he's my spy master. It's good to be friends with your spy master, right? Goban, he's turning out great, man. He's turning out a worthy, a worthy successor to Jake in uh, every way. Okay, 100%. Finally. Grey Snow, is that your uh, your family, man? Is that your family? It is. <laughs> I say it is. I it was. <laughs> how many of that were? How many of his kids did we kill? Quite a few. <laughs> beheaded, hanged, beheaded, hanged, beheaded. We had it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Thank you. Sorry, not sorry. You're a filthy Catholic, man. You, you, you joined the war against our uh, our kingdom. We will not forgive you for it. Uh, let's create the duchy. And let's give the duchy, I guess, to one of our aunts again, right? I think, uh, yeah, uh, Ray is still a bit, a bit too young. Although he does need a guardian, I think. I don't know why the game is not giving me a pop-up. Let's be his guardian. Uh, one title can be created. Do you to be out? We will give it out. What about... Do we have any... Edward Teller? Yeah, okay. I think we can give it to him. Our new marshal. Uh, the Enterprise of Kickapoo. Oligarchus of Cooley. Here you go. That's a nice addition to our empire. Um, and how much more do we need in the north here? Oh, quite a, quite a lot still. So we can move up north uh, further in the future. Let's uh, let's uh, have our vessels uh, hate us a bit less. Let's uh, have our, our army stick up a bit. Oh, it's there at my wife's score. That's that, that's the reason, I guess. Okay, so we have uh, Prince Buddy Guy. We we see a good uh, good future for him. Does this say Rustbane? You assholes! Inga Rustbane. Now oh, we are still in the uh, man. That, that that's such a dick thing to say, man. We're gonna we're gonna deal with you next. You grab the uh, you grab this county under our nose. You will we will retake it. We have uh, we have a grudge against the Catholics now. Last episode I said we didn't have a grudge, but now we do have a grudge. Screw those guys. They attacked us. We will attack them back. I lose the trade humble. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. We're no longer humble. Oh wait, what? Elwood died. Murdered on the orders of Chief Andrew of Knobstone. This man. Wow. Okay. Well, okay. Wow. So El Elwood died at age... Age 95. Did I see that right? Yeah, age 95. Who uh, succeeded him? Oh, he had only daughters, eh? And one son who died. And then his grandson, 15-year-old grandson... We'll inherit uh, his father's lands. Okay. Dunning Blues of outer Chicago land. Let's, uh, let's be his guardian. Okay, Elwood. Elwood died. Man, that's sad. I mean, he did live to the ripe old age of 95. So, uh, you know, I can't say uh, he didn't li li live a good life. Oh, we lost our spy master, of course. Ah, my wife can be my spy master, of course, yeah. Katarina, you're already my regent. I think, yeah. So, uh, we, we, we love you. Love you very much. Although we do love you as a friend. And <laughs> not really as a lover, I guess. Oligarch Dunning. He's got some very long hair. He is the grandson of, uh, of Elwood. And he kind of looks like the grandson of Elwood. He's an elusive shadow. Nice. Okay, welcome, uh, Oligarch Dunning. You want to marry uh, my sister? <laughs> um, Gil. She's 31, though. A bit old. It's my aunt, though. Uh, what about betrothal? Alright, this is my daughter. She, oh, she was just born. I missed that. <laughs> I missed that completely. 
Oh well. We already have two suns, so uh, our, our line is secure. The Goban Blues line. Uh, the twists and turns of Ray's tongue and the white lies he uses to make friends is making my head spin. Are making my head spin. Come on, man. How can such a, long, a young lad be able to lie so well? Uh, I'm, I'm just right and honest. Your tongue will cause you problems. He's honest. The Millennium Park. 42% young. This is going quite qu quickly, I guess. Yeah, it's only like seven years, right, for uh, for a garden. We can upgrade this one. Now oh, we don't have the money for it. But probably our trade post is done. Yeah, let's uh, start upgrading that one as well. Will make us a bit of money. Let's see how much how much does that uh, does that earn us? Uh, we can see it here, right? Two gold. Okay, not not that much, I guess. I always think it's more than it is. It happened last series as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my coffee's getting a bit, uh, a bit too cold. <laughs> Nor surprising. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just want to fight that duel, man. Sacrifice him. But he moved to Milwaukee. And attack the Norse uprising. My wife Katarina is pregnant again. <laughs> it's going fast now. That's probably because her uh, her opinion of me is pretty high. That will probably help. Just attacking him just loosely, so we're not really focusing on this on this battle. We should be fine. Just need to win win one battle, right? And uh, we will have one against him. There we go. We should have your diplomats. Minus 15 opinion. Okay, fine. This, this artifact better be good, man. I think I talked to that to this about this in like the first episode. Is that um, these artifacts are never really what? Oh man, this game sometimes pisses me off. We just lost most of our troops because there was one enemy army somewhere. <laughs> so then nobody was, was was able to go home. That makes no sense to me. Okay, fine. S some of these mechanics are just really stupid. <laughs> I guess they made sense to someone. But not to me. Um. Yep, let's go to Calumet. I hope we will be able to win this battle like this. Probably. Yep. Get out of my land, you raiders. Sacrifice them. I'm sick of... a bit angry at the game right now for losing most of my troops. Disbanding in my own land. Super close to my capital. Oh, no, they're back. No, okay, maybe it was just... Uh, oh, I guess I... Maybe I, I just had something something raised still. Okay, fine. Um, Can we do that duel now against the guy? The society guy? This guy? Are you at peace? Nope. <laughs> We just want to fight this duel, man. Okay, fine. Um, I think we're going to leave it there for now. I hope these factions are... Hmm, why do you guys hate me? Let's, let's deal with this first before we forget. Uh, do we... Oh, I had a minus 15 opinion malice, of course. Well, I do want that artifact now. It's, uh, I've sunk so much cost in it. <laughs> sunk cost fallacy. Um, I guess we can just... Uh, you're my diplomat, right? My conciliary, yeah. I can give you an honorary title or something. Captain of Industry. Uh, you Fine, you can be my captain of industry. If you if you leave my faction uh, that way. What about you, my man? Union president of the Teamsters. I can give you some money. 36 gold, sure. Hopefully that'll be, that'll, that'll be enough to uh, dis discourage you. Yep, nice. Okay. I think we will leave it at that. We, we had some shenanigans uh, at the end there, but uh, we did uh, did do quite a bit uh, this episode. We def defended against the papacy in the south. We attacked in the north. We captured a chunk of Catholic land over here in the, the northwest. Uh, next episode, we will continue on that conquering spree. Oh yeah, of course, not to forget, we uh, started to uh, rebuild Millennium Park and make it into a nice garden uh, containing uh, many amenities for our family. Um, yes, next episode we will continue our conquering spree. We will see if uh, Goban the Lionheart is able to raise, uh, raise up a rank in the society. We will see if we will finally be able to fight the duel against this guy. Um, and that's all to come. So thank you guys for watching in the meantime. And uh, see you then. Bye bye.